Jeez. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, how's it going? Tuba Cruise here, checking in with... Good day. We're here on a motorbike. It's our first motorbike vlog here on the Tuba Cruise channel in a long time. Normally, we film our videos on bicycles, but today we're running a few errands here in Tuenchan's hometown. And it's a busy day. We got to go to the city hall. Apparently, there's two different city halls because there's her village, village hall. <laughs> And then there's the city hall. We're trying to get some documentation done. Uh, we got our, we were married originally in Japan. We got that registered at the embassy in Japan for Vietnam, but we got to get all that paperwork done here. We got to update Tun's like ID, her Vietnamese ID, uh, update her license, update her bank accounts, all the fun stuff. So we're doing a nice drive through the countryside. And so we thought it'd give a nice little tour and update with what's going on. We actually just tried going to her village city hall and I don't, things work differently here in Vietnam. They don't work on a set timetable, but all the doors are locked and no one's there. They're just on break, I guess. So I understand if they need like a lunch break, but it's like 10.30 right now. So Tung's mom said that they should start up at two o'clock again. So. I don't know, I guess they take like a three hour lunch break. Um, so we're gonna go to the bigger city hall now. Hopefully they're open. And if not, we'll try going to the bank. Maybe they're closed, who knows. <laughs> we'll see. There's all sorts of different vehicles on the road here, but those bikes that the students are on just crack me up. They're like these funny little electric mopeds. And you see people of all ages. Like I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple kids under 10 years old driving those. Tung was unlucky. During her generation, she had to go to school by bicycle. So she had to use her own leg power. And all the kids now, they're using the electric bikes, the electric scooters. No, so. <laughs> yeah, so they're not gonna get strong like Tung Chan. <laughs> Tung Chan used to do a pretty long bike commute every day on her mama cherry to school. Yeah. That's how she got strong. Oh, we got some goats here. Always interesting things here in the countryside in Vietnam. It's also amazing to me like how many national flags they have everywhere. So like in the US, you'll see some US flags every once in a while, some really patriotic houses, but it's not like every house like it is here. In Japan, you rarely saw it, only at like certain companies, but I never saw any households that really just had the Japanese flag out in front of the house. Uh, so yeah, really nationalistic here. Jeez. Oh my goodness. That was really dangerous. I really hate those trucks. They just drive in the middle of the road and they just beep and expect everyone else to get off the road. Really dangerous. This road would be great if it wasn't for these giant trucks passing through. We've been doing a little bit of cycling back here. Uh, there are some roads that are okay, but some of the pavement quality is pretty rough. This main section isn't that bad, but yeah, when you drive on these roads with the smooth pavement, you get more car traffic. So it is a little bit more dangerous when those trucks pass by. And when you go off on the, the side roads, you might get some bumpy roads. It's hit or miss. Here we are. Looks like they're closed right now. So Tune just checked the signage and apparently this place is gonna be closed until 1.30 p.m. So we gotta wait two hours before we can get anything done. This is ridiculous to me. When we checked it online, it just said the regular business hours are eight to five. So we came here and there's no information about the break. Everything shut down. It's actually pretty crazy. Even all the big banks, we need to go to the banks. The entire banks are shut like they've They've gated everything off, so I guess we have to wait here for another hour or two until these people and their breaks are over. Yeah, they don't write any information online. I mean, it's the countryside, so I don't know. Maybe they don't update that stuff very much, but still, pretty disappointing. But I guess that's just the way things are here. Anyway, might as well show you guys today's bike. We're, we're driving a Honda. How does it feel to ride a bike again? Is it yeah. better than the bicycle? 
Yeah, oh, really? So here's the bank. Closed, of course. They're closed this, until the same time, 1.30. Yeah. So unfortunately, we came at the worst possible time. So we have to wait two hours. I don't think it's like this in the, in the city part in Da Nang where we're normally living. Um, but I don't know. Maybe. Well, while we're out here, we might as well do a little bit more exploring of the beautiful Vietnamese countryside. Nice day today. Decently sunny. Lots and lots and lots of rice fields here. We've seen some like corn fields as well, which is interesting. So we decided to take a quick break here at this cute little tea shop. And so I got some peach orange tea, Tung got some orange juice, and nice refreshing way to take a break while we're waiting for every business in the area to open up. Fortunately, the restaurants are still semi-open. This is a cute little shop here. This is one of the nicer, more modern ones we've seen here. When I first came to visit Tung's hometown a few years ago, there weren't like any fancy places like this that I went to and there's a whole bunch of them now. Before there were no like modern, fancy, trendy kind of places like this, but now like with Instagram getting so popular, people getting some more money, they got some money to spend. These kind of places have just started popping up and they're pretty cool. Nice way to spend a little break. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Nice cute area, nice nature, nice breeze. Not too hot today. So hopefully these drinks will hold us over for the next hour or so. We also got some snacks here. These are deep fried taro sweet potato balls. Taro. Taro sweet potato. Mung bean. And ah, mung bean. Mung bean. Green mung bean. Yeah. It's really popular yeah. sweet here in Vietnam. Yeah. And chili sauce. Chili sauce. Yes. Vietnam's favorite condiment. Oh, yeah. Cafe stop is done. We made it to the city hall. Finally, we got some progress going. And it's kind of funny, even though we went there at 1.30 when they're supposed to open, still more than half of the people weren't there yet. We had to wait another like 15 minutes for our people to pull up in their cars to get back to their office. We also went to the police station, updated Tung's ID. I guess it's gonna take a year, up to a year for her to get her new ID. So uh, efficiency here. Last step, we gotta go back to the bank. We actually tried going here while we were waiting in line at the police station for the ID, uh, but it was just horrible. Horrible line, they didn't have numbers, so everyone just standing around the counter. We waited there for 45 minutes, there was no progress, so we left. Here's round two. All right guys, for this last part of the video, I'll be doing some video overlay from some of our other time here in Tun Chan's hometown. Unfortunately, my last video I filmed here didn't record properly, uh, so I got to do this voiceover. But today was more or less a successful day. Things took a little bit longer than I was expecting to, but we were able to get pretty much everything done that we needed to get done. And after a long day of driving around in the hot heat, we made our way back home to Tuan Chan's home, uh, had some delicious dinner, played some fun night volleyball, uh, which is what they do here in the Vietnamese countryside. Tun's mom plays like almost every day. Uh, so you can see her playing here in this video clip. That's going to be it for today's video. But in our next video coming up, we'll be doing a tour of Tun Chan's home. We got a lot of requests for that. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for our next video coming up. Before we go, we want to say a special thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. And thanks to your guys' support, we're able to continue filming these videos. So we really appreciate you guys and your support. We'll see you next time here on Tubal Cruise. Mm -hmm.